trends. In terms of men's style, they come, they go, and some of them should never have been. But the fact is, a trend is a trend because it gets popular. Everybody's wearing it, everybody's buying it, everybody is rocking it! Tons of dudes do it, and then about three years later, we look back at pictures of ourselves and think, what the f was I thinking? My stylish eyeballs can't wait three years. And so today, I'd like to go over six popular men's style trends that need to stop. This is my opinion. No big deal. No harm, no foul. And apparently, I'm in the minority because of how many people are actually doing and wearing these six things. If you would have told me that you could screw up the most amazingly perfect pair of shades in the history of sunglasses, the club master, I would have said, no way. You're crazy. How could you possibly have it be messed up? Easy. Number one, add flat lenses. But it's not just club masters. They're putting these flat lenses on everything. It looks terrible. And for those of you rocking them, T-minus like three seconds until they're unstylish. They're going out. Number two, I'm sorry, Yeezys. Um, but I just don't think they, like, okay, so here's the thing. It's the aesthetic. They look like... I don't know, it's like they need more structure. They look like moon boots and just kind of like, they look like you're wearing potatoes. In terms of aesthetic sneakers, there are so many incredible options out there. But these just look bad, in my opinion. Speaking of my opinion, I think it's time to talk about number three, which is raw denim. Why are people still obsessed with wearing stinky jeans when you can buy so many incredibly pre-washed and pre-worn-in like like worn -in jeans? This is the question I ask myself when I smell somebody walk by who's into raw denim. And for those of you who don't know, raw denim, the premise is you buy denim. They've never been washed. They're super dark. You wear them, and then you wear them, and then you wear them, and then you you wear them for about six months to a year and you never wash them. When you finally do, they're broken in, they're all distressed, naturally custom to you. Unfortunately, they stink like sh you can put them in the freezer, but the fact is, if you've got to put your jeans in the freezer to kill the bacteria, that is stinking, that is nasty. Number four is smartwatches. Here's the deal. I have been asked on numerous occasions, Alpha, what's your opinion on smartwatches? I understand them. I understand that it's cool, right? If I was like 12 years old and I had some little like computer on my wrist, I'd be thinking I was the baddest dude in town. But I'm not 12. I'm old. And this old man personally thinks that smartwatches in terms of functionality, like if you're into running and you need to like like GPS and, and like Garmin's and, and Polar, some of the heart rate, mo like that's super cool and I get the idea of wanting to have like your emails and stuff on your wrist but everybody's still got their phone personally I am not the hugest fan of in terms of aesthetics I look at I it just never looks like like put together in my mind like you'll have like some dude and he's wearing some like killer outfit and he thinks you can dress up an Apple watch you can't I don't care if you put a different like band on it or what you just can't do it um, I would recommend getting a second watch so that when you want to look super sharp, you can actually dress it up with a cool watch like this one from today's video sponsor, Movement. Check out this sexy ass watch, right? Rose gold, white face. It's from the Revolver Collection, which is retro inspired. Notice the crystal. It's domed, right? That gives it an old world feel, but it's got modern styling. The other thing I love about this is actually the crown. The crown reminds me of a smaller version of the crown that's on the IWC watch, the, the Big Pilot, which I absolutely love. This watch is so sick. It's got the gray strap, it's got the rose gold buckle, but they've got other colors, they've got other designs. This one's all gray that I thought was dynamite, and this one is actually navy blue face with the steel bracelet. Movement has absolutely killed it, in my opinion, with this collection. And I'm a sucker for gray, right? I see anything gray, I'm like, I gotta get it. Anyway, guys, uh, down below this video, there's a link to a curated collection of the Movement watches. Not just the Revolver line, but all of their collections. I've went through and sort of picked ones that I think are super stylish. They've got different sizes now, which is also super cool. The thing I love about Movement so much is 
A, the price point. They're super affordable. Pretty much anybody can obtain one. The other thing is the styling. They're so clean and so simple, and they just make you feel good wearing the watch. When I look down and I see this, I'm like, damn, that's a sexy-ass watch. Guys, there's a link down below that will give you a discount on a sexy-ass watch. Here's the deal. Watches are, in my opinion, the most incredible accessory. Get one, get two, get five. Not only an amazing accessory, it makes a statement. A grown-ass man style statement. Gentlemen, speaking of grown-ass man, no grown-ass man is wearing number five, but I see it, and that's drop tail tees. Maybe I'm just jealous that I'm a shorty, and I can't wear anything like this because it would make me look even more ridiculous and short. But honestly, it doesn't really matter how tall you are because these shirts throw off your proportions. They make your legs look short, your upper body super long. And last but certainly not least, the sixth item that I personally feel needs to stop being worn are destroyed jeans. Not like mildly distressed or even medium distressing. I'm talking destruction. These look tacky and make you look cheap, in my opinion. And that's it, gentlemen. My list of six popular trends that are, are popular, but I personally am not a big fan of. But down in the comments, I want to know what I missed. What's popular? What's stylish? What's trendy that you think needs to go?